Peace, love, and light, my dear Scorpios. Welcome to my channel. I'm Butterfly Tarot, and it's not a butterfly. And I'm here to give you this butterfly quickies and love for September 2021. Guys, remember this is a general reading. Because it's a general reading, that means that some things may resonate with you while other things may not, or this very well may not be your story. Remember, the rules can be reversed. That means this side may represent them, that right side may represent you, or that side re may represent them and that side may represent you i leave it up to you like i said or this very well may not be your story i'm going to clear the energy with my singing bowl and we're going to hop on into this reading i'm going to pull advice and oracle cards at the end of the reading three cards for them three cards for you mutual energy okay outcome cards and advice stay tuned y'all Now let's get on into this reading, y'all. So it's going to be how they feel about you, how you feel about them. All righty, what the heck is going on with you, my dear Scorpios? What the deal? All right, y'all. Remember, this could be your side, that could be their side, that could be their side, this could be your side. Just follow along with me, okay, my dears? Or this very well may not be your story. If you like this reading, please subscribe to my channel. Support your girl to give me motivation to make more videos for you guys. All righty, we have the sun in the reverse. Somebody clearly is not happy. Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. So this person, they you might be dealing with either a Leo, a Leo Sagittarius or Aries, or possibly a Cancer, or not Cancer, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Hey, I said Cancer. You could be dealing with Cancer. Signs don't always matter. If you don't know somebody's birth chart, then you don't know what's in their chart, what's predominantly in their chart. And there may be certain things in their chart. They might have a lot of fire, a lot of water, whatever in their chart. It's all in the way that they resonate. So we have somebody who is looking at the time invested in this relationship. They're being patient. They planted the seeds. They're watching them grow. They're waiting for the harvest. This person is waiting on you. They want to take action. But the sun card is in the reverse. It's something is, is, is stalling in this connection between you and them. This is a person that you have known possibly for quite some time. You have some invested energy in the situation with this person. This person wants to take action, but they feel as though if they take action that they will not be successful. On your side, this is how they feel about you. You feel about them like, look. Listen, I'm not even playing with you, Leo. Listen, this could be the father of your children, the Emperor in reverse, Taurus, Aries energy. Aries, most definitely, and it has a hint of Taurus to it. Ten of Cups are in reverse. And the Six of Pentacles. You're like, listen, 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 listen. 
I'm not for the bull, okay? You're stingy, you're poor with communication, you're a poor father, you're a poor mate, you're a poor husband. I'm not happy with how things are going in our relationship. I want a relationship of reciprocity. And it just seems like this is like the narcissist, like narcissistic, mean. And also it's like this person doesn't know how to communicate. They just lack control. They're all over the place. They try to use their might to be right instead of them being a good communicator. So it's saying that you're dealing with somebody that you're not happy with. They got the sun in reverse and you got the ten of cups in reverse. That's like equal energy, seriously. It's saying that you, this person, like you want a relationship where you feel fulfilled. You want somebody that you can rely on and depend on. You want somebody who's going to be a good father, a good mate, you know, if, you, if you're a female, that you can rely on, that you feel so that this person is, uh, they lack control they, they 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 don't know how to step up and take control over a situation that they could be possessive they could even be abusive you know it's saying that this person's all over the place and you're like listen i'm tired of this not getting my ten of cups i want a relationship of the six of pentacles i want a relationship of reciprocity cancer price of scorpio energy uh capricorn virgo taurus energy and aries possibly taurus energy okay that's what it's saying. Like, you're like, listen, I need you to do what you're going to say you're going to do. I need you to step up and be a provider, not just a provider. I don't want to feel like I'm carrying the weight all by myself. I need you to be an equal partner. I need you to be strong. I need you to be the mate that's going to protect our family. Right now, we feel weak as hell. We feel defenseless. You know, anybody could come in and do whatever they want to at this point. That's the energy that I'm reading. You like you feel you feel so vulnerable with this person because this person is not exercising their authority. They're not stepping up and taking charge. And you're like, yo, I need you to take charge of the situation. As I was telling you, the Four of Cups and the King of Pentacles are first. This is Taurus energy, but it's also can uh, Capricorn and Virgo energy. But this is Taurus's card. So it's saying you're discontent and bored within the connection. Either it's both of you, or this is how you feel, and this is who they are. That they are being selfish, they are being manipulative, they are being possessive, and they are not toting the line. They are not doing what they are supposed to be doing in this relationship. And it's saying that if you want to get with me, you're going to have to get that right, baby. You're going to have to get that right, baby. Yes. That's what it's saying to me. You're discontent and bored. With this relationship. If this person can't step up, then they're going to have to step off. I'm going to have to tell if they don't step up. They're going to have to step off. That's what I'm going to have to title it. gonna have to be open and honest open up that throat chakra and a heart chakra and take the lead you're gonna have to be you gonna have if you a female even if you are a male you're gonna have to put on them panties still them big big girl big boy draws you're gonna have to get on them the, the high horse and you're gonna have to say i'm taking the lead you know i have to I, I have a vision of where i want this situation to go you got the throat chakra you got the heart chakra them shits is together it's like, yo, listen, Care Bear, stare up in this bitch. I'm just saying. Like, you're going to speak your mind, and it's going to come from the heart, and you're going to tell them, like, yo, this is where we need to go. Are you with it or no? Rest of rejuvenation. Now I don't want to stand in your ground. Moving on. You're still working on it. You ain't ready to give up just yet, yet. Coming together in reverse. That's the problem. One more, one more. Success and growth. Look, you like, listen, I'm going to work with your ass, but you're getting on my last goddamn mofo nerves. Okay? It's like you you like, you like, giving a one last chance. Like, you either going to get together, you're going to get together. What's it going to be? 
That's the way I see it. That's the way I see it. It's saying you're going to be speaking your mind. You're going to be like, listen, this is what I think we need to do. Because really, you don't want to go nowhere. But at the same time, you guys are on the same page. And like, you're willing to work with them. Like, look, I'm willing to stick around. I'm willing to give this one more chance. I'm willing to work on this. Solar plexus. I'm willing to work on this. Face my fears because I ain't no punk. Okay? I ain't no punk. I'm going I'm to conquer this stuff. Seek the truth, the seven of swords. Getting down to the bottom of the nitty gritty. Doing research, trying to figure out how to fix this situation. What I tell you, seek. Okay? So it's saying you're going, you're going, you're going within. And you're trying to find resolution to the situation. You're not ready to exactly give up. But you are really tired of carrying the burden of this relationship. Okay? And like you're you're holding on because you like, listen, yo, listen. You know, I mean, I'm I'm not happy with how things are going. You know, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. And I'm gonna speak my truth. I'm not gonna bite my tongue for you. I'm not gonna hold back. I'm being honest, pure, and true. And if you love me, you'll listen. Mm-hmm. It says time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. That means don't force it. Let it let it flow. Let it go. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Oh wow. <laughs> Tony Braxton. Oh, what is this? That's a beautiful card. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. Or love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So you might be on a break from each other. And y'all feeling each other energetically. And it's saying that they feel you, you feel them. But you're like, look, you can't come back until you're willing to work this out. You're willing to stop acting like a jerk. Like a low-key narc. Get out your goddamn ego and emotions. And maybe we could try to fix this. Maybe. Just maybe. Okay. You're tired of settling. Last one. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for a new opportunity and possibilities for your life. So it's time for you to expand. Believe in the impossible, my dears. Okay? Manifest Spirit Oracle decks, and then we're going to be up out of this video, my dears. Fall into love when you are ready, not when you're lonely. So, you got the four cups there. So, it's saying that when you're ready, not when you're lonely. That means that. Don't give in, or at least, so I'm going to say what it means to me within the context of this reading is that you should not just give in because you feel lonely. That when things are right, then you open up your heart to love. That's what it's saying to me, my dears. The reason it hurts so much to separate is because souls are connected. Yeah, soulmate energy. Hey, yo, it happens. That's how it is. It happens. You know, you be looking at the negatives of somebody, but you also see the positives. But sometimes the negatives just be outweighing the positive. And you be like, I don't know what to do. Should I stay? Should I go? What should I do? Okay. And so it's saying that this inner heart tug. You're discontent and bored within your relationship. You're displeased with how things are going. And you're tired of this person being a negative influence. You want them to get it right. That's what it's saying. When you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm, no anxiety, and agitation. Oh, boy. And what else? Try to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know how you feel about that soulmate card. 
or the rainbow in somebody else's sky. My sunshine has come forever. In my world, there's more rain in these clouds. Don't make me sing, y'all. There's no hiding place when someone has hurt you. What's her name? Angie Stone. It's written on your face. <laughs> okay, guys. Do what is best for you, okay? I'm not twisting up your fingers. I'm putting your arm behind your back. You know your situation better than anybody else. It looks like you're exhausted. And you're willing to hang her one last time like you got one more go. If you don't get it together now, then I's going to go. I'm out this piece. So that is up to you, my dears. Um, speak your mind. Speak it from the heart. Speak your truth. And stand in your power, okay? And tell this person how you feel. And do not settle I say I ain't going to tell you how to feel. It's, I'm just telling you what the cards say. Don't settle. Don't allow yourself to be run over. Just make sure you're firm with what you say. And if this person really wants to be a part of your life, then they will make the adjustment to be a part of your life. Okay? As I always say, peace, love, and light to each and every one of you from my heart chakra to yours. I'll catch you on next reading. If you're not already subscribed to my channel and you like this reading, subscribe to my channel. Support your girl so I'll make more readings for you guys. Okay? As I always say, peace and so much love. Thank you and goodbye.